Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to apply eyeshadow perfectly. This is good if you're a beginner, and it's also good if you've been having some problems. I hope you guys like it. Okay, when you think of having good eye makeup, you think of blending and having good blending brushes. And this is so important, but what's also really important is how you hold them. If you ever feel like your eyeshadow turns out really patchy, try not holding it close to the bristles. I guarantee you're holding it a little bit too close to the ferrule, and this is going to make your eyeshadow turn out a little bit patchier because you have too much control. When you hold it from the tip of the handle, you're going to have a lot less control, which sounds like a bad thing, but it actually gives you a softer, more airbrushed blend. So keep that in mind as you watch this tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do is take away any of the little stray hairs and like my hair grows so fast so I do this all the time. I'm taking some thread and I'm just threading these away. It's really simple and this is going to make the eyeshadow look so much smoother. You don't want to put texture over texture. It just doesn't look good. To make all of the colors pop and to keep my eyebrow looking really really clean i'm gonna clean it up with some concealer underneath the brow i'm taking a flat brush and some concealer and i'm pulling this underneath and then all over the lid If you could look at your eyelid really, really close, you'd see all of these little indentations and super fine lines, which make eyeshadow blending really, really difficult. So I recommend taking a skin tone powder and setting your primer with it. Not only does that make your eyeshadow easier to blend, but it also creates a really, really smooth looking base. Now I'm gonna take my first eyeshadow and start applying this to the area where you would see if my eye was open. This is like above the crease, and this is called a transition shade. Basically, it's going to create a gradient in your eyeshadow look and make everything look a little more natural than just having color on the lid. I want to keep the inner corners of my eye bright. That's like a really universally flattering look. So I'm going to take some light eyeshadow and just place it there for safety so that some of the dark shadow doesn't start to transfer towards the inner area. Now you can start working on the outer corner of your eye, and this is where the darkest shadow should go. When I want to pack on color really well, I hold the brush really close to the bristles. That way I get firm control and I'm able to just like really push it on. And then when I blend, I always like to hold it a little bit farther away to get less control and a more airbrushed look. Now I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm going to start pulling the color towards the mid area of my eye and then towards the outer area just to get rid of any of the lines I created with my brush earlier. And then once it's all blended, I'm going to start taking a little bit more color and packing it on just to intensify the look. And of course you can keep going until you like the drama that you see. Is that good? That lighter eyeshadow is really settled into my skin, so putting a second layer is going to make it really, really intense. I'm also going to apply this to my brow bone and then blend a little bit until everything looks seamless. To finish off this look, you can always add false lashes if you're feeling frisky, or if you just want to add mascara, that's fine too. Maybe some eyeliner. It's all up to you, and this is a really universal look. You can wear it daytime, nighttime, intensify the colors, switch the colors up, and it just looks so beautiful every time. So I hope you guys try this technique and enjoy these tips. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!